Well, there's not a lot of traffic down here today, honey, but it's absolutely a beautiful day to come down here in Polly's Island, isn't it? It sure is. So we're down here at the island shops in Polly's Island. Just been walking around, taking a look around. Just enjoying this day. It's only about 55 degrees out, so it was very cold the last couple of days, but uh, a couple of days after Christmas, but uh, a very beautiful day to be down here. You know, Myrtle Beach is not known for shells anymore. It's all picked clean, and they, uh, when they do the renourishment, they uh, bring a lot in from about, uh, I guess, maybe a thousand yards offshore but uh, a lot of shells down here part of a well Gina I've already picked up two two shells and Gina picked up a part of a well so uh, but we're gonna walk on down here and I think this is actually uh, the inlet down here oh I pick up another two another oyster shell <laughs> so uh, but yeah this is a uh, it's been a pleasant surprise down here today, finding this uh, all the way down here on the south end of Paula's Island. It's a beautiful day out. It's only about 55 or so, but uh, a lot of people on the beach, more so than I thought they would be. And the wind's not too strong. And the wind's not too bad today, so, so it, it makes it tolerable. actually feels pretty good. Gosh, more shells. Yep, all kinds of them. Stepping well, on them. <laughs> I know where to go shell hunting now. On a Saturday morning, I get up early, drive all the way down to Polly's Island. There's an overabundance of shells down here. So, uh, but yeah, this is the uh, very south end of Polly's Island. And there is just absolutely shells galore down here on this south end. Gina's picking something else up. I don't know what she's found. Another whelk. Big oyster. But yeah, this is a very, uh, very happy we decided to come down here today. This is part of the uh, beach that we don't never go to and uh, just never take the time to come down this far, the majority of the time. I can't, I can't stop picking up shells. And I guarantee if I would uh, take the time to start looking for them. Oh, I'm sure you'd find sharks. Um, I used to be the shark hunter king. There's another piece of whelk there, honey. But, my gosh. If you want shells, this is the place to come to down here. So we're on the uh, yeah base in the bathroom. We have to come down here. We've been talking about doing that, uh, going down to uh, Georgetown and going on one of the cruises here. And I think we're going to wait till it warms up just a little bit more and uh, ferry that goes to go across. Island go across on the ferry over to Bulls Island and uh, check it out go to the boneyard down there but yeah this is a uh, wow I'm loving this now I can see why people like moving to Polly's Island but we were just commenting that if you didn't uh, if you didn't have a house on the island the beach access would be uh, very scarce but I think uh, if you got up early like I usually do and get a spot, you get to definitely hang out all day long down here. But this is why you move to the beach. Whether you're living in Myrtle Beach or you're living in Myrtle's Inlet or Garden City or up in North Carolina at Sunset Beach, Ocean Isle, this is the reason you do it. I mean, it's a little chilly. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit, but, but beautiful and peaceful. Beautiful and peaceful. Yeah. 
Oh, there's a big shell. Look at that. Look at that shell. Oh, I didn't pick that one up. Oh. It's every, oh. <laughs> Look at the whelk she gets picked up. Ah. Yeah, it's part of one. Part of one. Huh. It's still enough shape to know what it is. Yeah. It's going to look good. But, uh, we're going to walk up the uh, canal side. Looks like there's a canal here, so we'll, we'll walk back up that way. But this right here would be shark tooth heaven right here. Just need you a little sifter. Yeah. Be down here when the uh, tide is kind of washing through here and it moves them around. They're easier to pick out. But this is beautiful down here. Yeah. Spent a lot of time in, when I was in the Marine Corps in Jacksonville, out on Onslow Beach, North Topsail, picking up sharks' teeth in the wintertime because that was bit, the only thing you could do. And just drive out, and I'd take my, I had a geo tracker at that time, take it out on the beach actually on Onslow, and just park it and uh, hang out all day long by myself sometimes. With all my friends. But uh, we're going to walk back up towards car, but we're going to go up the inlet side here. Check it out. All right, so we're going to walk up the uh, inlet side now. But very south end of Polly's Island. Beautiful down here. A lot of people over here fishing right there where it's exiting out. But look at this. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I guess you, I guess this is dry. There's the water line. Mm -hmm. It's showing you where the water line is. So if you came down here and you're on your Myrtle Beach vacation and you took the uh, main Polly's Island, come over from 17 over on the Polly's Island. But I guess you could probably find as many up in uh, the, uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank here. What are you trying to say? The state park. Oh, Huntington State Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach State Park. You could probably, uh, probably be about the same up there with a lot more parking. And if you wanted to venture, really venture there, you go, oh, oh, these kids are brown. Oh, they got boots on. Okay. <laughs> uh, man it must be some cold feet but yeah water temps I think is about 58 now Adrian went surfing the other day and he said it was 60 but uh, he got booties and uh, wore his booties did he wear his wetsuit? he wore, wore his yeah. wetsuit as well yeah he wore his wetsuit but he said the water temp is about 60 right now This is one of the reasons why I'd love to have a little canoe, a little canoe venture out. Canoe kayak. A canoe kayak. Yeah, this looks like it's uh, freshly planted right here. Some of these in here, but uh, they need to do a lot more of that down here. If they want this uh, area to survive, it, uh, I'm sure it, uh, during storms it floods out down here. But build these dunes up with the sea oats. Well, honey, I don't know about you, but I really needed this. I did too. After being cooped up in the house and through the holidays and eating so much good food and cheese and crackers and smoked salmon, all that epic food, all that epic food yeah. So, uh, this little walk right here has been good. This uh, probably took us what about 30 minutes, maybe. I don't know, I didn't really 
look at my watch to... I think it's about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to walk all the way around it and parking out area. So uh, we're almost back down to the parking lot. There's what, what I need right there, honey. Yeah. That, he looks very relaxed. Yep. <laughs> he does look relaxed. He looks relaxed, doesn't he? He's enjoying nature. Yeah. A lot of driftwood over there, probably. Mm -hmm. Hi, Karen. Yeah. Poor Egrets. Uh. All right, well, we have made it to the hammock shops and it was just a great time down there on the south end of uh, Polly's Island but we're at the hammock shops now so we're gonna walk around and check out the Christmas cheer here at the hammock shops in yeah, beautiful nice Polly's tree. Island look at this Pretty tree right here tree. that is a beautiful tree isn't it mm -hmm. it's Why, real a picture in front of it it's real yeah it's pretty very very pretty but they've got the hammock shops decked out for uh, for Christmas probably should have come down here before this and uh, actually we need to go up North Myrtle Beach and still check out the lights up yeah, there I guess we got running. this get that up there for a while but uh, we're gonna check out Polly's get check out the hammock shops here we got going on up here honey oh, I don't know the gazebo's decked out let's see yeah, looks That's good the trees it's really good that's why we get all these decorated real trees. Yeah, that's the little trees here at the island hammock shops here. But they had a nice little, uh, oh, you got the North Pole Postal Service here. But I bet they had a nice little show down here to kick this off mm -hmm. down here. And Christmas lights up everywhere. I bet this looks really good at night. Very festive. Got the old festive festivus here. I love the hammock shops. This is so relaxing down here. Call it a day from down here in Polly's Island at the hammock shops and uh, had a beautiful day down here today. But uh, we're gonna call it a day. We'll see you on the flip side. Stay frosty. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.